Please like the video. The Senate advanced a bill on Wednesday to codify protections for same-sex marriage, attracting enough Republican votes to overcome the filibuster. Take a moment to consider the breathtaking shift in American attitudes that this represents. In 2008, President Barack Obama was not willing to embrace same-sex marriage. Now, even the Mormon Church has endorsed the bill. A critical mass of Republicans understand that same-sex marriage is here to stay. Whatever their personal views, they grasp that opposition to it signifies a level of bigotry even many GOP voters are unwilling to tolerate. The simple political reality is this, outside deep red enclaves, Republicans cannot maintain their anti-same-sex marriage stance without marginalizing themselves. It's part of a slow recognition that their adoption of Christian nationalist positions alienates a substantial portion of voters. There might be some risk for Republicans embracing same-sex marriage. Right-wing gadflies such as Ben Shapiro have already called to excommunicate Republicans who support same-sex marriage. It's possible that Wednesday's vote sets up incumbent Republicans to face primary challengers from Christian nationalists. And therein lies the problem for the GOP. Republicans face a number of quandaries these days that force them to choose between loyalty to the mega cult and general election viability. Do they reject former President Donald Trump in the primaries and risk him dragging down the party if he runs as an independent in 2024? Do they recruit more non election deniers for House, Senate, and state offices? understanding that those who question the legitimacy of elections are proven losers? But no question looms larger than how they intend to win office while maintaining the support of Christian nationalists whose views are antithetical to a supermajority of Americans, and this goes beyond same-sex marriage. We saw what support for rigid abortion bans did to Republicans in the midterms. Michigan went entirely blue largely because independent women went overwhelmingly for Democrats to protect abortion rights. But if pro-forced birth Republicans try to course-correct, dropping proposals for a national ban, they risk offending a large constituency.